Part five on why being an infectious disease epidemiologist makes you a Debbie Downer. So this past weekend, my wife and I hosted our annual soup party termed the Super Bowl, where we had 25 different soups from our family, our friends, our neighbors that were all brought in to see whose soup reigns supreme. Stick to the end and I'll tell you who won. But during the Super Bowl, a couple of friends came up to me and said that I should make a video on outbreaks and potlucks during the potluck that we were having. So I intentionally waited a few days to make sure that no one from our potluck got sick, at least from some people that have told me, but let's talk about a few scenarios in which people were not so lucky. So this outbreak is from 2015 by the CDC, and there were 70 people attending this church potluck, and after the potluck was over, one person showed up to the emergency room for botulism infection, and soon after that, many more people started showing up to the ER so they knew that they had a problem. One of these people that showed up to the ER eventually died, so the CDC and the health department did this investigation and found that there were 25 people that got sick meeting the case definition of a botulinus infection after eating at this potluck. Many of the people at this potluck said that they were eating this potato salad after they got sick, and they found that the person that made that potato salad was using home canned potatoes, but did not properly home can them, which allowed the botulism bacteria to grow and proliferate and actually cause this outbreak. So how common are potluck outbreaks? Well, this year, the CDC published a review in their MMWR of food outbreaks and found that there are approximately 800 foodborne outbreaks each year. Not all of them go reported, but they found that about 16% of those outbreaks are from non-public settings or potlucks. So why does this happen? Well, when you gather a bunch of people together, you have multiple dishes together and lots of different sources of food that could be contaminated. You also have lots of different practices of food safety in your home kitchen. I, for one, whenever I touch raw chicken, chicken, treat my hands like they have all these bacteria on them until I can clean them, but I know for a fact that many other people are not like that. Also, at potlucks, food can sit out and not be at the proper temperature, which can allow bacteria to grow and cause infection. So how many of you have gotten sick from potlucks, at least that you can remember? What can you do? Encourage attendees or your coworkers at an office potluck to use good food safety practice and wash your hands, especially as you're sharing this food. So who won our Super Bowl? It was the smoked coconut in corn chowder, which you can see here, which used this caramelized homemade popcorn with this fish sauce on top of it. It was really good. Good job, Seth. We'll see who wins next year.